Okay, okay, just hear me out on this. Like, don't, don't. Okay, I see you judging me over here. Like, don't be. What, what I do with my personal time is my business. What's up? I'm here recording on my futon. Real professional. You hear those creaks and things? That's weight shifting. That is that's what that's the sound of professional audio. Professionalism. So I live in Alaska, right? Okay, home of snow and incest. We're basically like the northern south, except less racially diverse. The winters here suck. They're dark and cold and boring and you don't see grass for four months they're they're pretty dang epic on top of that around january i was at this house party just minding my own business praising the lord when somebody just forced me to hit their vape and also had been hitting it for two years previous to that and also it was me i was i was that guy i'm, I'm a teenager in 2018 i'm addicted to nicotine okay get over yourselves anyway that night i just kind of suddenly couldn't breathe it was it was very uncomfortable. I just kind of tizzied up my lung bitsies, something fierce. And they, they just kind of sucked for a few months, man. And not how lungs are supposed to suck, where they inhale air and oxygenate my blood. No, they were, they just became of poor quality. So basically after that, I just kind of stopped socializing, just stopped participating in anything, you know, that made me breathe. <laughs> uh, I just kind of sat at home and just felt bad and bored and unproductive. At some point I started using Duolingo just because I wanted to do something and learn Espanol. And that made me feel, you know, less like a lazy wheezy piece of shit. And then I stumbled onto a little show called Silicon Valley. You know the show? It's like HBO or N NBB, WNBA. I don't actually, I don't know who produces it. I, I pirate it. I pirate everything. Don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Don't, don't tell the F, don't tell the FBI. Don't, don't tell my dad. Anyway, around like February, March, fucking, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a calendar man. I kind of had like coding and Duolingo on the brain. And I was kind of thinking like, maybe I should learn, maybe I should do one of those. Maybe I should do a good old Duolingo on this code bo boy. And uh, I, I started looking around to see if there were things. I, f I figured there had to be things. I decided to try out Code Academy. Code Academy? Code Comedy? Code and ball torture. Now, if any of you have ever tried Code Academy before, you know that when you start, they kind of give you uh, some options of what kind of material you're interested in, what you'd like to learn. Um, at the time, I didn't really know like a web design bone from a computer science boner. Uh, I didn't really know what any of those even like were or what they they weren't like all like the same nerd thing. Basically, I was a stupid idiot and I chose the I'm a stupid idiot, mommy, please help me, I need help option. And Code Academy was like, I, you finna read some nonsense for like four days then. So I did. I, you finna learn. <laughs> so after reading just all that garbage and being very bored, um, what seemed the most recommended and accessible to me at the time was web design. So I started doing that and they showed me how to write H, 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 H. HTML, which if you don't know what that is, is basically how you format code so internet browsers can display it. Um, and it looks butt ass ugly on its own. Have you ever seen a web page like this that looks like absolute shit? Yeah, that's that's HTML right there. That's bare bones. That's that's good shit. That's that's the pure shit. I wrote a little poem in fake HTML, in my creative writing class, because I'm edgy. I was into it. I liked it. Also, I really just liked fucking around with what Code Academy gave me. They do like little interactive uh, coding lessons. They'll be like, C come on, buddy, you know, make some paragraphs, make a header, H1, H2. And I just, I'd make it all ass, you know, huh. ass. It's like, it's fun. It's funny. Ha, ass. Ah. But around the time I got like halfway through the CSS lesson, I kind of just started losing steam with it. And uh, I don't know how I found this guy. I don't know if it was like a Code Bullet episode or if I was just searching around. But I started watching your boy, The Coding Train. And I was turned on to the wonders of JavaScript within the confines of the P5JS web editor. Now, I know what you're all thinking at this point, okay? Which is, yo, when's this nerd gonna shut up and start showing me some dicks over here? Like, where the dicks at, bruh? And you're in luck, okay? You've, you've waited this long. Had your drink. 
this is where we begin. Free. So immediately, I saw the JavaScript was going to be way more interesting than what I was doing before. You know, you could code real objects and you can interact with them. There was practically endless practical and practically endless practical and practically practical and creative uses for this. So naturally, I decided to make a dick. This was the first thing I had ever really coded on my own. And I was hooked. I decided pretty quick I was going to learn this P5 shit inside and out with the coding train, and I made it my challenge to somehow, in some magnitude, integrate dicks into it every step of the way. So I started down the path of the shift man with his introductory coding playlist. P5JS is basically designed to code animatics and visualizations and stuff, so the first concept the shift master explored was drawing, or basically just how to code. 2D objects into the framework. As you already know, I made a dick, got really inspired, oh my god dicks, I'm hooked, eureka, hallelujah, yada yada yada. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. After that, he went through how to color in those shapes and just some basic things about error messages and the editor and stuff. Not really anything I could work dicks into. Uh, then he shows you how to track things to the mouse. So, I think you can infer what I did with that information. Wow, this is really... I mean, if you haven't done this before, hopefully this is kind of interesting. Uh... After that, he just explained JavaScript and general coding knowledge for quite a long time, which, don't get me wrong, was great and informative and necessary, but didn't really get me anywhere in terms of any dick demonstration or the general phallic fuckery I was trying to work into these modules. The only real opportunity I seized in that portion of it was when he explained a particular visual representation of an if-then loop, which allows you to make a grid. And even that felt a bit, you know, uninspired. But during the whole learning process, an idea had come to me, inspired by true creativity and blatantly ripping off the idea of the video that I believe introduced me to the coding train in the first place. I wanted to make a version of that uh, DVD logo thing that you'd always watch as an early 2000s kid because Surf's Up had been paused for too long and you don't know how to unpause things because you're like four and you just hope to whatever god your parents taught you to pray to that it would hit the corner so you could mentally nut your brain pants, but here's the original part, okay? It's a dick. Ah, eh? It's good, yes? I know the coding train has a video on basically just how to make that, minus the dick part, obviously. Um, I don't actually know if I used that or if I did it on my own and then that came out, but I do remember watching that, so I, I, it's, uh, basically either I ripped that off or I did it on my own and uh, I did it, sort of. I also really wanted it to change ethnicities when it bounced off the walls, but coding is hard and I was bad. So at the time, I couldn't figure out how to change each part of the dick individually. So I just rolled with the punches and this is what you get. At some point when I was doing the mouse tracking thing, I messed up and made the ball hair just stay in the middle like that. But I thought it was super funny, so I just left it in. So believe it or not, this was a pretty big milestone for me at the time. <laughs> no matter how uh, it may appear. <laughs> so I decided to take a break from the dick stuff for a few seconds and code some other visualizations. But then I refocused and got back to the Lord's work. I thought I was ready for a bit of a bigger project, so I figured I'd make a game out of it. No, like, actually design a game out of it. You thought I was using the figure of speech, didn't you, you dumb prick? So I cobbled together some of good old Danny Shiftsticks game tutorials with a bit of my own flair, and... There's... I'm gonna... Two or three weeks later, I had this little masterpiece. Yeah, your level of success was pretty determined by how quickly your wrist got tired. I was actually pretty proud and excited about this. You know, I really liked learning how to implement all the things I wanted to be in there. You know, the little the little shooty sound the gun makes, you know, drawing the dick was fun. It's just, it was just fun, you know? I loved solving all the little problems that came with trying to communicate what you wanted the computer to do and all those crazy happy little mistakes that led to an end result I was actually alright with. 
After that, I started working on another more uh, ambitious game project, but uh, no penises were involved with that one, so it was doomed to fail. It was supposed to be like a little mobile game style thing where you... Oh, oh God! Mobile game style thing where you ride around on a skateboard and hit different obstacles like rails and hubbers and stairs and shit. And you also shoot at zombies on the other end of the screen while you do that. As you can see, it did not get very far off the ground. So my mom works for a uh, state college, and um, around that time she informed me of a, a little coding meetup thing that was going to happen in my town, like a uh, introduction to coding presentation. She made it very clear that I should probably not show them what I've been working on. <laughs> and like I said, I live in Alaska, so I thought it was going to be a little weird at least. Um, <laughs> Definitely the people that showed up were a bit odd. I'd say like half were just really young kids that maybe heard what a computer was a couple weeks ago, and the other half were just homeless people that um, wanted free coffee. <laughs> and basically what it turned out to be was Apple doing some program where they just came up here and was like, hey, code for Apple. You don't have anything going on. Code for Apple. Apple, Apple, Apple. Steve Jobs, Apple Macintosh. Uh -huh. So it kind of sucked, but um, there were... A couple people there in this bright-eyed motley crew of ambitious and promising coders. Uh, <laughs> there were a couple guys that really kind of knew what they were doing and had been coding for quite a lot longer than me, obviously. So I started talking to one of them, and I was kind of explaining that I wanted to maybe do something with game design. And he's like, oh, okay, what, so what software are you using? And I'm like, huh? I'm learning JavaScript. <laughs> And he was like, bro, wh why? Don't, don't do that. <laughs> so he turned me on to the wonders of Unity. <laughs> he was basically like, choose a gaming software. It's going to be way easier to, to learn. And you might actually learn something if you actually want to be a game developer. He was like, stop doing the dick thing. And I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to keep doing the dick thing. <laughs> I'm just now going to do it in <laughs> The first thing I actually worked on was um, sort of like... I guess I could describe it as circle pong. It was not dick related, which again, I did not finish it, was doomed to fail. Basically the idea was uh, you had two paddles, one on top and one on the bottom, and you could, it was not very thought out, I will say, you could spin them and the ball would start in the middle and you could bounce it back and forth in a 360 thing, as opposed to Pong, which is just on the, you know, it's a good idea. It's good. It's great. Make a million dollars two days. Promise. Nobody steal my idea. You gotta buy it. You gotta give me money. You gotta buy my book. I want royalties. I want, I want, I want, I want merchandising rights. I want two goats in your daughter's virginity. So yeah, that didn't go anywhere. Something about, uh, like you couldn't put a hitbox on a convex shape. I, I, I messed with it for a while and then I was like, this is taking time away from me making dick things. So I dropped that project. I don't want to play with you anymore. And I got to work on my magnum opus, my Sistine Chapel, my Taj Mahal, my Guy Fieri's Pizza Boy Kitchen Man. So picture this, right? And don't act, I'll picture it for you, okay? Because you're, you're fucking dumb. It's space, and you're a dick, and you fly around, and you shoot little semen bullets at circular planets, maybe, or eggs, or something, and they do something, and then you fly into an eyeball. And, 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 and through the eyeball, you go into the next level, uh, and I don't want to make the next level, so I won't describe it. So in order to pull off this feat, this rebellion against the Lord himself, I was going to have to learn some new skills. Actually, lots of new skills. Many of which I didn't really learn, and just sort of did the coding equivalent of just shoving a square peg into a circular hole in order to fucking jerry-rig this piece of garbage. Oh my god, I'm so done with this. Why, why the fuck? Why did I commit to this? I've been spending my spare time working with dicks for the better part of six months and I just went, ah! Anyway, one of those skills is uh, 3D modeling, which I actually quite enjoy. Another is putting color onto those 3D models and animating them and then exporting them to Unity, which I do not enjoy. Not even a little. 
and haven't done them at all, actually. Jesus, if you're listening, please kill me now. So I 3D modeled a dick. So yeah, here you go. Let's let's just put the demonetization nail in this virtual coffin. And if you don't want to watch me make a cock out of binary for like 10 minutes, you can skip to this timestamp or just hit the screen on the right side till you don't see a dick being made anymore. You know the drill. Hey, it's me, your favorite me. Don't let that fade out fool you. There's still like three more minutes of me making a dick. I figured I'd do some uh, director's commentary here before I just re-loop the same uh, royalty-free music. So, you liking what you're seeing? You having a good time? Everybody having a good time? You ever seen this before? This is, this is 3D modeling. This is Blender right here. There's lots of, lots of you know, uh, montages of making these on the internet. Very pleasurable to watch sometimes. Okay, I'm going to lo- <clears throat> Okay, bye. <laughs>
would be the word you would use to describe that yeah great so i basically had the game all fleshed out with basic shapes with a shooting mechanic and lots of fancy little features and everything and then my computer basically exploded and i had to get a new one so uh here we are right here me here stalling <laughs> dreading what i'm about to do which is uh to do it all over again all right okay here we go let, here we go. I can't do it. I won't do it. Fuck this. Fuck. No. Fuck. I don't like it anymore at all. None of it. Not none. Not even a no. Now, some of you might be asking, M -m dude, <laughs> how do you go spend so much work and time, you know, put that into something and then you don't finish it? To which I would respond, I don't fucking know, man. Probably the same reason I made a 20-minute YouTube video about it in which I used Will Smith, almost exclusively shown as the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to represent my pasty-ass self. Probably mild autism, I don't fucking know. Basically, I thought it would be funny, and it just went on for way too long. So, if you learned anything from this, kids, it's, um... Uh... Follow your heart, you know? And if your heart wants you to do something really stupid and labor intensive do it for a while until your heart tells you to stop and uh, all right goodbye <laughs> oh i 3d modeled an eye too to, in in between me um wanting to do this and no longer wanting to do this and that it, it came out you know cool but then i couldn't fucking export it into unity and i i uh <sighs> so i'll just you know i'll end this with a little uh a little tidbit. A little eye tidbit. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs>